First, install the Camerify app from Google Play Store or the App Store on iPhone. This is a free app. Some of the features are paid, which won't be needed. Open the app. Now here, choose the second option for the Facebook. Select it and use your Gmail account to continue. Now on this screen, use your Facebook user ID and password. Then, tap Login. And then again, tap Continue. And one more time, and you'll be logged in shortly. Tap, no thanks. We don't want the paid version. Tap on Facebook. Tap, continue. And one more time. This is a one-time process. You won't have to do it again. Select your Facebook account or one of your pages for the live stream. Then tap start. You're logged in. This is the user interface. Use the menu button to change your Facebook account settings or any other settings. Tap on the menu button on the top right. Then choose settings. Here, you can see that Facebook account is connected. Tap on the Facebook account. Choose one of your pages or your account to live stream your match. Change the title if needed. This is your default title. No worries, you can always change it before starting live streaming. Tap OK. Next, under Privacy, choose Public because you want your friends and followers to watch the live streaming. Choose Category. I will choose Sports because this is Cricket. Select the Resolution. And from the quality, choose high if you want live streaming to be of high quality. And rest of the settings, leave it as default. So, here all the settings are complete. Let's go back. Here, for demonstration purposes, I have put a cricket match in the background, and we are going to add a score bar overlay right here to show the score live on Facebook. Tap on the magic wand. First, tap on the baseball icon. You can see there's a lock on each score bar. Just tap and watch an ad, and it will be activated. I've already activated some of these score bars already. Let's try one. This one is very basic and easy. It only shows the score of each team. You can also add your own logos. Score bars are available under the baseball icon. Long press on the score bar and the settings will appear at the bottom. Let's change the team names. Now tap Done. Tap on Team 2 and type in the name of your team. Then tap Done. The score bar is now showing your teams. Let's change the logos. Tap on the three dots and tap on the logo. Select the logo. Browse it in your gallery. Select the logos for both teams. There you go. From here, you can also update the score or you can just change the name of the teams again. But for now, let's just go back. Now, you can see logos have been added to the team. Let's see how we can update the score. The score bar is ready. Now, let's long press again and you can see this is a score for team 1. Tap on the plus 1 to update the score on the score bar. Right here, let's say it was a maximum at 6 runs. Let's try again. So next delivery was a boundary. Let's add four more runs. This is Team 2 e score, which is zero currently. You can always change it when the next inning start. So Eagles, they scored 10. Dragons, their score is two. Now, this was pretty basic scoring. Let's add something more interesting. This is my favorite. This has many options right here. I can add Team 1 and Team 2. I can add overs. I can add wickets. Let's just edit it. Long press again. 
distance here. We don't want this distance thing. So instead, we can type in, let's say 10 overs. So it's updated. Then let's go down, change player one name. This is team one. Again, let's type in Eagles. Then team two, we'll use Dragons. Tap done. In player name three, which will be shown here, let's change it to Overs. And there you go. Overs will be shown there. Here, let's show Wickets. Change it to Wickets. Tap done. This is very easy. Let's change this as well. But before that, let's change the text here. Here you can maybe type in Eagles versus Dragons, for example. Match details. And tap done. As you tap done, it will be updated on the score bar. Maybe, instead show the date. Let's say, January 12, 2024. Type it in, and then tap done. And there you go. It's been updated. Now, let's change the other details that we don't need. Delete this, and use a dash. So the score bar is now completely ready. Long press again. You can just use the plus one option to change the score. Use the minus one to change it back to zero. As you can see, Dragon's score is now zero. Overs, that's plus one. And if someone gets out, you can show the wicket here. That's number four. So wicket is one over one and the score is 12, so the score bar is now ready. Let's start live streaming. This is the title of your live streaming on Facebook. You can always change it and type in whatever you need. I'm going to type in live match Eagles versus Dragons. And under private, make sure you choose public because you want your friends and followers on Facebook to watch the live match. I'm going to choose private for demonstration purposes. Make sure you choose public. And from here, choose the resolution to 720 and tap create. From here, you can share the link of your live match on WhatsApp. And let's tap go. And now it's live streaming on Facebook. Long press on the score bar and start scoring. It's that easy. As you score, the score will be updated live. So this is an amazing way to live stream a cricket match completely free with the score bar. This can help you attract more viewers on Facebook. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, use the comment section below. Thanks for watching.